actually have learned to induce the kelp to release its spores in a controlled environment. And so they swim to the substrate, which is the string, and then we provide light and food for a month that we control, and then they're large enough to transplant to the ocean, where we run a piece of line through the back of the PVC, secure the string to the line, and the string just spirals out around the line, and it stays right there and then feeds naturally through the winter. And we find that we get the best growth if we put it at a standardized depth where it receives the same light pretty much all the time. Um, well, I'm 58 years old and I've been involved in the food industry, but I've also worked in a lot of commercial fisheries in my lifetime and watched the majority of them go through boom and bust cycles. By moving preemptively into aquaculture, while we still have adequate resources, it gives us a way to have a food product that's going to be available in perpetuity, and it also covers some problems we have with our current farming and fishing models. The FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization branch of the United Nations, has flat out stated that at the current population growth, we cannot continue to feed the world past about 2035 to 2050 using our current methods. We have to find better ways to generate food less polluting. We're farming what's arguably the healthiest vegetable you can eat using no arable or tillable land. We use no fresh water. We add no fertilizer. We use no herbicides. We sequester, the plants sequester CO2 releasing oxygen, which can help nullify acidification. It's a win-win-win way to grow food.